Hello, this is my third video on the progress of the Colne Valley Viaduct since progressing across the Grand Union Canal. We can see the distinctive curve in the viaduct as it crosses the Colne Valley and from this map we can see the progress. From this map we see that following the Chiltern Main Line in the North Holt Tunnel from London, the alignment of HS2 had to change direction by 12 degrees to make its way between Denham Green and Harefield on its way to Birmingham on a northwest track. The viaduct has now been built across Harefield No. 2 Lake. This part of the viaduct has been designed with the V-shaped support piers that have the slender arc at 10 metres above the water to represent the flight of a skimming stone across the water and a slender low profile. Each span is 80 metres long. At the crossing of the Grand Union Canal, we see the buttress piers each side of the canal. These act as shock absorbers and spread the load of the trains. If they have to break from 185 miles an hour, this load on the viaduct could be up to 9,000 tonnes horizontally. So from the buttress piers we see the jetty stretching across the lake with the viaduct built and some sections ready to be moved up to the launching girder that is called Dominique after its French designer. We can see from this video the process of building the V-piers, starting with the piling in the lake and then the shuttering and the steel reinforcement, with tower cranes at each pier to do all the hoisting. And all this mass of pier has to be balanced equally on top of the piling foundations. Apparently it took over nine hours to pour the concrete for each one of the piers and we see the temporary jetty that gives access and this pier finished with just the top segment shape to be added. As we can see here and now the V piers on the lake are cast with the two segment shapes to match the spans of the viaduct with access openings below the running deck. The piers are now ready for Dominic to add the segments and we can see what a balancing act it is before the spans are linked up. The segments are manufactured in a compound at the north end of the Colm Valley that has access straight onto the M25 to keep lorries off the local roads. There is a thousand segments to be made and each one is different shape to accommodate the curve of the viaduct. Then they are moved along the viaduct to the launching girder using special six-axle self-propelled transporters. So Dominique, the launching girder, has the ability to move forward over the piers in a leapfrog fashion by moving its front and rear support legs forward. Then the two overhead gantry cranes lift in two segments at a time to keep the spam balanced on the piers. So as Dominique completes its journey across the lake over the special V piers, it is now back on land at Jews Farm with another 12 spans to go before reaching the end of the Colne Valley Viaduct. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a like or subscribe to the channel to see more content.